Hey guys, this is a really quick uh, Sunday update. I know some people, I think, were looking for a Sunday update, so I did want to at least put something out there for you. Uh, there's a lot of good comments on the second video. Uh, it seems like that video got pretty popular pretty quick. Um, they, I looked at the analytics of how long people are watching and everything, and it was the best analytics I've ever posted on YouTube uh, before, so uh, that's good news. Um, news today is Jordy Nelson is going to play. Um, they're going to get him some type of superior, like, equipment and to restrain over his ribs. Uh, what does this mean for DFS? I just did a full global player swap. And it's not because Jordy, yes, it, it, it is because Jordy Nelson's playing, but, uh, you know, Allison with a hurt, a semi-hurt hamstring, he said, I'll practice all week. I can't have this exposure to Devontae Adams, Cobb, Montgomery, and Cook, and then throw Allison in the mix with Jordy playing. I'm not putting Jordy in any lineups. Guys, if he takes one shot, just one wrong hit to that area, he's going to be out of the game. Very high risk to get out of the game. And another thing, if all you guys are thinking, oh, let's put in Jordy, let's put in Jordy. Um, Julio Jones, Julian Edelman, he's right in the middle. I'd rather have both of those guys over him. As a contrarian play, this late news, some people probably don't even know he's playing. Uh, th that's very interesting. Um, you know, if he does do something crazy, uh, Jordy Nelson will be the one of the contest winners. You know, if he does somehow get, you know, five for 100 and a touchdown, uh, I would imagine he will be one of the lowest best players, lowest owned best players in the slate. Um, but I'm going to stay away from him. What I did is a full fade from Allison to Eli Rogers. Uh, I think I, I mentioned this in a comment um, on one of the videos why it was dumb for me not to even consider Eli. I mean, he if I think Brown's going to be the shutdown, the guy they're worried most about shutting down, someone has to eat. And the second string in line for eating would be, um, besides for Bell, would be uh, Eli and I'm going to stick with him, uh, put him in a ton of lineups. I do still have Allison plugged into a few, um, and I hope I don't regret it. But, you know, the, when you're dealing with two-game slates, guys, don't forget about everything you've learned in my videos. We're only talking about a two-game slate. All this stuff I'm saying is much more ba basis on, you know, the full slates. You can't be wrong here. So... I could be very wrong on a couple things that I'm saying, and it's going to end up costing me, but I'm going to win big or win not win at all, and that's how I play. Um, I don't recommend that for you guys with smaller bankrolls, smaller budget. Um, I'm going to talk about more about budget and budgeting your money and winning in DFS in um, next week's video. I'm going to get to all your comments. Some guys ask me about other sports. How do I approach that? Um, about how I project players. Um, I will go through a whole rundown of that and give you guys a lot more information. But Jordy Nelson in, it does change things. I wouldn't get crazy and start changing all your lineups though. Um, if you do have my recommended fade, especially if you're riding with me on the Brady train, uh, Rogers on the opposite side of the ball. If Brady throws four touchdowns, that means they're going to have to pass the ball a lot. And if this game gets out of reach, that will be very good for Eli. Uh, plug him in your lineups. And guys, good luck to all of you. Let's make some money today.